What's good beautiful soul family, it's Annette aka Shorty Love. I'm back with a light language video that's going to help you guys with relieving stress, anxiety and worry and uplifting you into the energies of rest, relaxation and rejuvenation. So as I was out here today doing my own rest and relaxation and rejuvenating my body with the beautiful energy of Mother Earth and the Sun, I was inspired to come on and do this video because I know that we're experiencing some very heavy energetic shifts on planet Earth right now and especially for light workers, empaths and star seeds and anybody who can really feel that energy on a deep core level, anybody who can really understand what the collective is going through. We tend to at times, you know, give, 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 give and want to overgive and at times spirit really pulls us back and tells us that we need to go inwards and that's when we're able to receive what we deliver next. And so that was one of those days for me today where, you know, I was feeling really tired, really exhausted when I woke up my eyes were actually burning I didn't even want to I was like I was doing these ones you know like trying to open my eyes like rubbing in and rubbing in and to no avail and you know I knew I had to get outside today I knew I had to come out into nature and I came out and just literally laid down and just allowed myself to receive just allowed myself to be to watch the birds to just look at the trees to see the greenery to see the blue skies to just be grateful for everything that we have here on planet earth on mother Gaia be grateful to be a part of this experience be grateful to be a part of this collective and to know that you know I've been given this amazing opportunity at this time to come on and deliver these healings for others and others delivering healings for me and it's such a beautiful way that we're connecting now and we're becoming one even through you know through the internet and from afar even when we can't be there physically, we're able to energetically reach each other and I think that's absolutely amazing. So I'm so truly grateful to all of you who are connecting with me in this way, whether you're offering healings, whether you're just liking, subscribing, sharing my videos, those of you who donate to my channel, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me, it really does. And this mutual ex exchange of energy is just overflowing with unconditional love and I think that's really what we've been trying to achieve for a really long time on planet earth and it's finally starting to surface so give yourselves a pat everywhere <laughs> for that because we deserve the love and abundance that is flowing to us now freely another thing I've actually been noticing with people around me lately is and just people in general in the collective is that people are so hard on themselves fam People are so hard on themselves. We're taught to be hard on ourselves. We're taught that we need to be productive. We need to get this and this and this done. We need to have X amount of blah blah done and in order for us to feel you know, accomplished or be successful. And the truth is when we really feel the need to constantly do things, it's a trauma response. When we're feeling the need to do things and push things and force things, it is a trauma response. So when we're able to really kick back and relax and allow things to come to us and deliver from a space of love and gaiety, then we're on par. Then we are hitting the mark rather than missing the mark. And I feel that it's time for people now to understand that it's okay for you to rest. It's okay for you to relax. That's the only way that you're going to be able to rejuvenate yourself. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. You don't have to constantly give and give and give to no avail. It is safe for you to receive. It is safe for you to open up and become a vessel for source to really flow through your entire being and purify you and cleanse you and wash away anything that doesn't serve you. It is okay for you to take some time out. It is okay for you to just put your feet up, soak in the sun, have a bath, you know, go outside, go for a walk, chill, chill in your pool if you've got one, go for a swim, do whatever makes you feel good inside. It is completely fine. You're not a bad person if you take a day off or two. You know, you're definitely not a bad person if you need the whole week off, you know what I mean? Because as you take that time to yourself, you're allowing yourself to receive more and therefore you have more to give. So just allow yourself to really center into your body and whenever you feel that feeling of anxiety and worry and stress start to surface, I'd like to invite you to just take a deep, slow breath in and exhale release with your mouth. 
I'm going to share two mudras with you that you can actually use when you're feeling stressed and anxious. For those of you who don't know, uh, and if you're new to my channel, by the way, welcome. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure to have you guys here. But for those of you who don't know, I am also a yoga teacher. So as part of being a multidimensional being who's here to uplift you all and help you to embody more of your multidimensional presence by healing mind, body and soul connection, I am also a yoga teacher and I offer yoga to those. I also offer it through Skype and online and distance zoom calls um, but I do do it face to face for those who are genuinely interested in learning yoga on a mind body and soul level rather than just a physical practice so huge union really huge means the union of the mind body and soul and that's what yog, yoga is all about becoming a yog person becoming a yogi being yog being in tune with your mind body and soul so I'm going to teach you guys a mudra, two mudras actually, that you can utilize when you're feeling anxious and stressed and nervous and tense and all that stuff is coming up. You can definitely use these, they're definitely going to help you with your breathing practices. So the first one is pranayama, so prana mudra. Pranayama means breath work by the way, so pran mudra is basically just the peace sign, right? The bunny ears. So you're connecting your, your ring finger and your pinky finger with your thumb. And I will do a separate video about mudras just so that you can understand them a little bit better because I'm going to start to use them a lot more in some of my videos when we're doing healings. They are literally your way of connecting the elements of the earth through your fingers. This is how people heal people through Reiki and through light language, how we deliver the light codes and energy through our fingers because we literally have the elements of the earth in our fingers. Water, fire, ethers, earth, you know, akash, agni everything is all right here so if you connect your ring finger and your pinky finger with your thumb that's prana mudra and you just simply lay it down onto your lap and have your wrists facing upwards palms on your lap against your knees and take a deep breath in What this mudra does is it opens up your diaphragm area, it engages your diaphragm area automatically. Like I said, all of the elements are right here and all of your ability to connect all of the different sensory perceptions and all of the different aspects and organs of your body is right here fam. So once you start to learn how to use mudras, you're going to be able to utilize that to your advantage and to your benefit whenever you're in any situation. Even if you're at work, take some time, quickly go to the toilet, do some prana mudra and breathe in that fresh air now the second one for those of you who experience things like blocked noses nasal passages being you know all sorts especially when you're trying to sleep at night you're sleeping in different you know uh, postures and one side of the nose gets blocked and the other side opens up and it's just all over the joint especially if you're sick this mudra works really well for that so you're gonna curl your pointer finger in and you're gonna make a donut you know kind of like when you're doing this but you're just interlacing them together and then you're going to use the tip of your thumb and your middle finger to touch okay so you've got the donut going donut going and like that and your ring finger and pinky finger are just chilling on the sides again you're going to place this on top of your thighs and you're going to take a deep breath in With this particular mudra, you're going to feel and sense that it opens up your nose more, your nasal passages a lot more, so it's easier for you to breathe. So if you're having breathing difficulties, it's great for that, especially if you're having anxiety and you're like, <laughs> you know, like you're trying to breathe from your chest. It's imperative that you first open up your diaphragm so you can get more of a breath of flow, more oxygen, more oxygenated blood, more purified blood circulation in your body. And then you can switch to this mudra, which I call the donut mudra. <laughs> and you can just begin cultivating more air within your body and breathing in more oxygen into your body. And that's going to help you to really calm your senses. It's going to calm down your nervous system. And because both sides of your nostrils are going to be working and absorbing that air, then it's going to bring the two aspects of yourself, your parasympathetic and your sympathetic nervous system into balance and neutrality and alignment. 
So those are some mudras that can help you when you're experiencing stress, anxiety, overwhelm, distress, and you're feeling a little bit all sorts. They will definitely help you with that. Mudras also help you to relax and rejuvenate your body because you're getting that source of energy, you're getting that source of supply from the infinite supply and the abundant supply of oxygen and of mother nature and mother earth and the birds are really <laughs> here with us today and having a conversation right now. That infinite source and infinite supply of abundance right there. So with that said guys, I'm going to get into this light language transmission. And what we're going to focus on and my intention with this light language is that it helps you to relieve any anxiety, stress and worry, any tension within your body and within your energetic and auric fields. And that helps to uplift you into a state of rest, relaxation and rejuvenation, high vibrational energies for your onward journey. Take a deep breath in. Exhale slowly and release. And open up to receiving this light language. Purifying and cleansing your energetic and auric fields now. Rejuvenating Uplifting you into the highest, most purest possible vibration for you at this time. Revitalizing your energy. Rejuvenating your energy. Allowing you to have an abundant supply of energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. And so it is. So that's the light language transmission for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm in a very yin energy, as you can tell today. Very calm, very sort of <laughs> just at one with Earth. I feel like I'm in an aspect of my multi dimensional self today where I feel like I'm just another plant. I feel like I'm another tree. I'm just here amongst everything everything just feels really holographic right now so <laughs> i do feel a little bit spaced out but um i'm going to go and ground myself now do a bit of sun gazing and hopefully come back 
down to planet Earth. So take care, guys. Stay blessed. Stay high vibing. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.